Hi guys, it's Hazel and um, I just got home and I went to a Saturday market this morning and I also went to a nursery nearby and I just bought some few things and I just thought maybe I can share with you guys what I bought and also um, I feel like I never really update my um, plants my plant collection in Australia so I thought maybe I can um, record it for myself and also mm, share with you guys at the same time so yeah and also uh, they have some new growth so I just think I can share with you guys and also I might have to report my plants today as well so yeah if you're interested then keep on watching so there's two bags and these are from bunnings and these are from the um, the plant shop i went to this morning so yesterday um yeah i bought these from bunnings yesterday so the first thing i bought is this scissors because i thought maybe um like some of the plants need to chop I need to chop some of the plants and I think it's not really a good idea if I just use a normal scissors because these have, mm, I mean this have like the arch so it would be easier for me to cut the plant and yeah it won't hurt too much of the plant as well because I heard that I'm afraid it will get like infection if I use just normal mm, I mean these will be more sharp, sharp and will be more precise when I cut it so that's why I bought it and I also bought another big pot which is 21 uh, size 21 I actually don't know what's the 21 mean like the numbers on the pot I don't know what's the meaning of it but yeah it's a huge one really huge you can see it's really huge and it's for my plants outside so yeah it's i'm gonna repot it today it's so heavy i'm afraid it will it might be difficult i'm just yeah i don't know i also bought this one yesterday so um some some of the plants need to like climb up and i can use this to wrap to tie it up so and it also looks prettier than these kind of strings so that's why i bought this it's more pretty i think <laughs> and the saucers over here okay so that's it and then let me show you another stuff I got today. I also got another stick for them to climb. Um, I haven't think of which plant should I give. Um, should I use this one? But um, yeah, I'll think about it later. I also got another short one over there, but yeah, I'll leave it there for now. I also got a beautiful, uh, how, what is this? I don't know how it calls, but I just feel like I, I don't really have a proper um, thing to help me water my plants. And I also think that having this kind of thin, thin, um, this kind of, I mean, this kind of shape would be easier for me to um water my plants is especially these are all on the shelf and i don't want to like water it too much so this would be a really good size for me and i also like the design and the golden one the golden color so i bought this then i also bought another bag of leka and yeah that's it so I think I will um, repot it out and then share with you guys about my um, collection.
So I um I grabbed some stuff that I need for repotting and that's the new pot and also I also got some substrates over here and I also prepare my gloves for repotting because I don't want to um, break my nails So I finally repot this one and here's the result. You can see it's really the size is very different from this too. <laughs> and yeah, it's the biggest one I have and the reason why I repot it is because the previous previous leaf is all really huge and really massive and it's really beautiful but the latest leaf is really tiny so um, I just thought maybe it's because the pot is too too small for it and yeah you can see the difference like this one is so huge and this one is a bit tiny you know it's very different so yeah mission clear because it's really hard to repot this kind of plants especially with the stick and these three are my outdoor plants and you can see this one is eh, a bit um yeah i just repotted it recently as well and you can tell uh there's after I repot it, there's a like a new growth over here. Yeah, you can tell the upper part upper part is a bit damaged and I think it's some kind of past issue, but I didn't really treat it. And but you can tell after I repot it, it started a new growth and it seems okay. I hope it won't damage again please and I'm trying to and I think I will like chop these top um, top off because it's really I don't want to keep it there anymore it looks really bad and this one uh, it used to be in a tinier pot I just repotted it recently as well and I think it's getting better fingers crossed and yeah, I'm gonna water this three for now and then I will show you plants indoors. Also, um, I have these two kinds of nutrients. One is triple boost. Uh, 
and then another is uh, especially for the, the root growth and this one is from dr green thumbs i just bought it recently and this one i forgot where did i did i bought it but so every watering i will try to add these two together and then water my plants and i just started recently so i mean like i just started to use this kind of method recently so i don't know if it will really help but i hope so fingers crossed fingers crossed and yeah i hope my plants will love it so these two are the only nutrient that i added to my plants so let me introduce some of my indoor plants and yep um start with this one this one is my philodendron gigas is it's one of my favorite philodendron and you can see the leaf the velvety leaves this is the um, there's a bunch of cuttings in here so it looks a bit uh, messy <laughs> but I just hope it can look like this more bushy so that's why I mm, decided to put in different cuttings in here and yeah I, re I really like the leaf shape this is one of the easier um, philodendron I found it's really easy to grow and look at this leaf but it's so sad because I just ripped it off a bit because I was trying to help it unfurl easy, easily so but I accidentally ripped it off the leaf and this one is the, the only one that is really um, how do I say the complete one and this one as well I accidentally just mm, rip here off but yeah overall it's really pretty and it usually climb up so that's why I uh, put the stick for it and yeah and it's also in my one of my favorite pot from Berg's Potter it's on, also one and only um, this kind of glaze uh, pot I have in my collection so I just thought maybe I can just give it to my gigas so yeah it looks like this very pretty so next move on to the top uh, upper shelf this one is my philodendron milano chrysum and this one is a bit different from the gigas which is the uh the leaves is more in a heart shaped and yeah you can tell the difference on the top edges here this one the milano chrysum is looked like this and gigas is looked like this the top edges is different and this one uh the milano chrysum is always one of my um, like favorite philodendron but it's really difficult to grow but recently it gives me this beautiful new leaf i'm really excited and it hasn't really unfurled yet so you can see it's still a little bit curled over here and this one is really upsizing a lot from the previous leaves so i'm really excited about it and then okay let's move this away for now this one is my mm, philodendron al choco red and you can see the leaf is a bit different but not really a big different it has like a little bit red at the back i don't know how i don't know if you can see it but um, there's a little bit red at the back and there's also a new baby on the way and i'm really excited and also um 
this one is actually my newest leaf from this plant um, but it hasn't hardened off yet so you can tell it's still a bit curly that kind of leaf shape and then let's move on to this one this one is my anthurium puppy lalinum <laughs> crossed with red crystal linum it's really pretty look at it it's also my first time having this kind of cross anthurium you can see the velvety leaf it's so pretty This one hasn't, um, haven't given me the new leaves yet, but this one is the latest leaf. It's really tiny, but it came in since I got this plant. So it's maybe it's because the environment changed a little bit from the previous location to my home. So that's why it's a bit tiny than the previous leaf. But yeah, I really hope the new leaf is coming in. Let's move on to my next plant, which is my Philodendron Gloriosum light form. So this one has a um, flat patio. Mm, how can I show you? Um, let me try to find different angle. So this one is actually in a um, flat patio, so which is light form, and I also put it in my Burke's Potter. So pretty. Uh, it also has a new leaf coming in, and very excited. So next, move on to my second shelf. So um. So my this is another anthurium. Um, how can I show you? So this one is actually I just water it so you can see there's a water underneath. Um, so this one is um, my pure forgetii. <laughs> I know it looks really different from the forgetii, but yeah. This is the Forgetia. It doesn't really grow that well in my care. Um, I'm still trying to find out what is the best way to grow um, my anthurium. I'm still learning and I tried, so still trying. And I also found that um, a, a lot of people mentioned that Anthurium are really into um, really into tree fern fiber, that kind of substrate. So I also order it and it's on the way. And after it arrived, I will definitely change the substrate to that one. And yeah, I hope my um, Anthurium will like it. So this one is my another Anthurium crystallinum with cross with Magnificum and this one is not really hmm, growing well as well it used to be in Lekka and Le when it's in Lekka it really grows so well but I just I don't know I just prefer in soil I usually prefer soil and yep yeah, so that's why I change it to soil but I'm also trying to let it liking the soil mix so yeah so there is a new leaf on the way you can you can tell and yep yeah. oh this one is really uh, one of my baby as well i'm really excited about this new leaf and i just hope it liked the environment recently because I recently just uh, turned on my um, humidifier, so 
I hope it can in increase a little bit of humidity and I just hope they will like it. So yeah, and this one is my Philodendron Gloriosum dark form. <laughs> so this one is light form and this one is dark form. And you can tell the difference from the leaf. This one has a more, um, more clear white veins on the leaves. And this one is not that obvious. It's just a little bit and yeah. I just prefer have two type of form and, but I prefer this one more to be honest, but yeah. And this one just recently came to my home. I just hope it will liking it. Um, currently still haven't seen any um, growth yet, but hope it will come coming in soon so yep and then my my next plan is this fern it's been a while now so that's why it looks so bushy very pretty very easy to grow very pretty and yeah one of my favorite fern so far very bouncy i can say and i recently just changed it to this huge pot and yeah yeah i really like fern it looks really cute especially when the new leaves comes in like it looks really curly tiny and cute also another um, changes to my plant shelf is that I recently add the grow light to my plant shelf so I hope the light will be enough for them and I also turning on this humidifier so I just hope um I just hope it will like it if there's any new up update I will definitely share with you guys so here it is for now